All right, what's up guys? So back with another one and a big one finally after everyone has been waiting and crying for Almost a year now, huh? Almost a year now. You finally got your girl Ta da Biking is coming very soon three days three days from now But yeah, like always Ox just put out the uh, the the character introduction breaking down all her new moves and how they work and everything They've been really good up until now, so I'm excited to watch this one. I haven't seen it yet uh, Of course, we also got our official portrait and god Lee, is this video gonna get demonetized? Look, I'm a fan. Trust me, I'm a fan. I, I'm a I'm a huge fan of this portrait mode. But if it's gonna get in the way of my my ad revenue on YouTube, I've got to cut it out. There we go. Now we're talking. Now yeah, that's what I like to see. See, now everybody wins, right? No harm, no foul. But yeah, her new design, uh, the new portrait came out. Looks sick. Of course, she got the big bat, but she always looked cool. She was always like a badass. But in Exert, she kind of became slightly less badass. You know, a little bit more cutesy. A little bit more anime style, and it worked. You know, her popularity skyrocketed right there. But I like the snarl, you know? She looks a little bit older, I would say. A little bit older, a little bit tougher. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that. But anyway, uh, I haven't seen it. Like I said, I haven't seen the breakdown. Curious about a new play style. I heard she lost her guard cancels, which makes me very happy. In the past, I said, I hate this character. I don't want her back, but mainly because of, you know, that the, the guard cancel nonsense. If that's out, who knows? I might give her a try. But like always, before we get into it, guys, hit the subscribe button wherever it's at. I don't know. If you like Guilty Gear, if you like Biking, if you like her assets, whatever it is, hit that sub button and let's go. They got a new voice? Did they get a new voice guy? Biken boasts an Biken. arsenal of useful special moves. Yeah. Control uh, the yeah, field from yeah, 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 okay. With her so I got, I got that spoiled. I got that spoiled on Twitter. So that, that's her, that's her crazy new thing. Was it Kabaddi? All right, I, I want to see more about that. And overwhelm the opponent with her powerful mix-up at close range. Interesting. So right there, they did the breakdown. They did like the character description, and they said uh, control the field at mid range and then mix up at close range. Right. That that's a completely different change. Right. If you had like a narrator talk about old biking, it'd be like uh, abuse your guard cancels to never block, and then like the exit would be like abuse your your uh, your parry stance just to never block. So now they completely wiped that out. She's like a mid range zoner with mix ups up close. Let's see. She got the six K right there. All right, this is the big one. Slams her foot to the ground. Flipping over a tatami mat. I'm already a fan. It looks worse. It looks worse than the old games. I'm already a fan. The grounded version has a hit tatami box during the stomp and launches the opponent on hit. Okay. Can you do it in the air? Of course. That's that's the problem. Can you do it in the air? It says air okay. Does it drop down? I need to see it. In the air version, the tatami mat appears Damn. as a projectile. As Damn. The tatami mat will not disappear until it touches the ground. It is a good option on the opponent's wake up or to prevent their approach. Damn. They got rid of they got rid of the guard cancel nonsense, but that's still there. That move is one of the most annoying moves. It's so innocent looking, you know. It just kicks a there's a Tommy down, but it is so obnoxious if you never fought this character before. Because of that. Because what he says right here. Until it touches the ground. How it until it doesn't touch the ground. That's just one big fat hitbox right there. It's like a wall. So she can use it defensively, you can't approach, or she can just air dash at you, drop it on you for offense. This move is cheap, man. It is a good option on the opponent's wake up or to prevent their approach. No! <laughs> it's there. Air Dash Tatami is there. It does look a lot slower. It does look a lot slower to say one thing, but damn, it's still it's still in there. She mad short, by the way. She look at she tiny as hell. Look at me. Yeah, let me get out of it. She's like Obama height. Look at that. She get did she get shorter? There'd be something weighing her down, maybe. Stage is beautiful too. This is the new this is the new stage. It's nice. I saw all three parts. I wonder if I'm gonna show everything. Kabaddi. All right, this is a new move. This attack draws the opponent in towards Baikin. Its excellent range Kabaddi. makes it a good poke from mid-range. The slash version attaches the opponent to Baikin on block or hit. That's sick, right? It's on, on block. I didn't know that. On block is sick, right? Look at that. If you didn't notice, see how she's the walking backwards, but the string is still there? The opponent to Baikin on block or hit. Once attached, the characters will be drawn together. I, w I wish I wish Viking would hit me with Kabar. If you know what I'm saying, the characters would be drawn together. Man, just throw that at me. I won't block. Come on. Yeah, Viking, you could attach to me anytime. The force drawing them together grows more powerful the farther they are apart. <laughs> the attachment will be released after a certain period of time. That's so cool. So it actually has its own like physics engine built in. This is like uh, Half Life or some stuff. I don't know. A successful ground throw also attaches the. Oh damn! Device. I didn't know that. Pressing Heavy Slash again, after the claw extends during the Heavy Slash version, performs a follow-up attack. Okay. I'll like your old move. down Heavy Slash allows you to delay the timing of the attack. Oh, so Light even on whiff you can do it. Okay. the opponent during this move. 
I don't know what the point of that is. I don't know what the point of passing through is, but who knows? They, they had to put it in for a reason, I wonder. But damn, the big so the big takeaway from that, that's going to be like a huge part of our gameplay, of course. And to me, that reminds me of uh, Blaze Boot. Reminds me of magnetism, you know? Fighting uh, Tager when you get magnetized. You're like flying around like the attraction there. I might be a pro. I might be a pro already at biking. I know all about all about this kind of stuff. The big takeaway is like how how easy she can get. I thought you had to like set it up, but on block, on throw, her whole game plan is going to be playing like that. Yozan Sen. All right, so this is her overhead here. I think it's, I don't know. Is it still an overhead? Let's see. Biken slashes the area around her with this overhead attack. It's fast startup makes it easy to use in mid-air combos. What the? It's fast startup makes was he, it easy Was he grounded after that? Oh, it doesn't launch. Oh, damn. So it doesn't launch. Combos. Holy moly. By the way, look at that sweep. Jeez. Holy moly. Arxis, Arxis knows what they're doing. The Biken. If you haven't seen this, by the way, look at this Look at this timeline. I think now's a good time to show it. But this is how Biken has been evolving throughout the years. I think you can see a clear uh, a clear trend in her design. It's up to you how you want to how, how you want to uh, kind of capitalize on it. But dude, I, I mean, I've been around. I've been playing Guilty Gear since the first version. I remember the original, the original Biken. The original Biken was a bum. She looked like she smelled bad. Her kimono wasn't ripped for fashion. She looked like she was dirty. She looked like she was wearing a dirty ass kimono. Now she's ultra waifu dude of course i'm a fan of the new ones of course you know i love the rev and i love his stride design but damn guilty gear x look at that art the guilty gear x art is sick it looks like a different character though if you compare it to now all right let's go back to back to this so did they say yodzon sends a, an overhead it can also mix up a crouch blocking opponent okay it is when used immediately nice. after jumping damn okay 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 so it is so they, they snuck that in again if you're a new player you might not be too familiar with that but that that is a huge tool in our arsenal instant overhead very, very easy to do. Just TK motion, instant overhead right here. And this game, you have a lot of meter too. Damn. I guess the one thing is like Gatlings. Since Gatlings aren't aren't as scary, maybe the mix-up won't be as as bad as before. You're going to be looking out for what? Dust 2D or Yozansen right there? I don't know. But she still has it. A counter attack that reacts to an attack from the opponent. Okay, so this is her new... can counter an attack once this move is... Damn! Up. <laughs> nice throw. Nice throw right there. But damn. Okay, so she lost her her guard point stuff. Her guard cancel, and they gave her just a regular counter like Angie here. She performs a highly damaging attack after countering an attack at close range. She can repel the opponent's attack okay. after countering from a distance. So that's like Leo. It's like Leo where if, if you're not up close, you, you get repelled right there. I wonder if she can combo after it. Probably not. Use this move with caution as it cannot counter throws or projectiles. Okay. And leaves bike and vulnerable on whiff. That might be ass. The game, of course, got a uh, PRC and BRC, so maybe there might be some OS. You know, they might have some OS where you, you know, you counter, and if it whiffs, you PRC to delay it right there. But in this game, in Strive with Strive damage, you you, you mess up one, you mess up one uh, counter, poof, that or that big counter sign comes up there, you get murdered. I don't know how often you want to be mashing on that in this game. Sanzu Watashi. Biken moves forward while unleashing three Yeah, the one slashes. in the moon. Does she do the pose? It's fast nice. startup and invincibility as it comes out makes it a good choice for combos, as well as a way to interrupt Shing, the shing. opponent's strength. Kenju. Got the same kanji as well in the moon. What the hell is Kenju? Biken is new? launches a massive firework shell. <laughs> oh, that's the one I saw on the screenshot. Yeah, they gave her a gun. Happy cast gun, biking gun. Bring Elfo back. Just bring Elfo back. I got the Apex Squad now. You got all three of them together. She got a fireworks gun. Powerful projectile. The fireworks shell will explode either on block, hit, or after traveling a certain distance. So what's the point? This attack works well as a poke from far range, or as a finisher in a combo. Oh yeah, okay. So that's that's big because this game has a uh, you know wall break. You know, so that that'll be useful to just like break the wall. You know, all right, push him away, break the wall in there. The air version. I want to see the air version. The projectile's though. trajectory to a downward diagonal direction. Yeah, there's the wall break like I said. Damn, that did a grip of damage. What was that, 5K? The air version. I guess that's probably close ass right here. Changes the projectile's trajectory to a downward diagonal Boom. direction. That's big though. That, that's really big in this game. So that, that was a mid-screen, right? That was a mid-screen hit, wall break. That's something that Ram has that's really cheap is that like straight hits with Ram, you break the wall. And you get, of course, you get a huge, you know, advantage when you break the wall. Positive bonus, uh, hard knockdown, you get all the meat and everything. So her being able to just straight hit, break the wall from mid-screen, might be good. Might be good. 
Look for an opportunity to get in while using far standing slash and standing heavy slash as pokes. Both versions of Kabaddi work well as pokes from outside the range of her standing normal. She seems fast. She seems very, very straightforward. You know, like that was one of my, my wishes right now is that all the DLC has been kind of weird. Just from this little gameplay clip, I'm like, that's easy. I can do that. Like good speed, good mobility. Once you're in, hey, you can hey. use her sweep. A two -hit the claw definitely does not have range of the old game, though. An overhead for powerful mix -up. Shut down the opponent's nice old bro. Nice punish. <laughs> Bring out the the, the gat Attach right there. The she used the counter. It's mad risky, right? Look at this. Wake up counter against Nagori Yuki, right? So this man did wake up counter against Nagori Yuki too far. So all she gets is a little deflect right there. Now, if Nagori Yuki waited like one frame, two frames, and just did a, whatever, he did far S, or if he just did Beyblade, like you lost the round right there. That's mad risky, right? A DP would have won, but her counter doesn't from this range. Attaching yourself to it seems like a very, very, very risky ass move. Body makes it easier to maintain close range, as well as granting access to powerful strings and combos. So you say thank you for watching. That's the old guy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Oh, he got his own. He got his own vibe. I don't need to tell you. I'll be playing the character, of course. I will be putting up some videos, some breakdowns, some guides. I'm interested in actually like learning her. I've been looking for a secondary, but again, I think everybody. So, you know, there, there, there's like monumental shifts in the FGC. Like Strive came out, that changed everything. But like first Strive, there's gonna be like post biking, BB and AB. Before biking, after biking. Once biking's out, everyone's playing this character. It's like uh, if, if you played Grand Blue, when Narmaya came out, when they added Narmaya, that was it. Like 80% of my matches were Narmaya after that. It was crazy. Even it was all scrubs too. They didn't know what they were doing, but everyone just picked Narmaya. Everyone's Narmaya. Everyone's gonna be playing biking. Everybody's gonna be playing biking. And I know there's a lot of memes. I know everybody, I, even this comment's gonna have all the memes. Or all this YouTube will have a bunch of comments saying like, "Oh, Bugins excited to play it for the first time." I feel like that's gonna be a joke. You're gonna, you're gonna regret real soon because I'm telling. I think everybody's running this character. She looks really simple. She looks really, really simple. Strong. I don't know. Of course, to be strong in Guild Gear Strive is hard to say because like the top tier is so insane. Actually, if I'm gonna be real with you, if I'm gonna be super honest, if I'm gonna go leffin on you right now and look at two minutes of footage and come up with a, a tier list. I don't know. What what stands out from that? Tatami Gaishi and, and the overhead. Her buttons look mad short. Her butt, The range on her buttons look really, really short. There are a couple times when she was going for like block strings too. She'd try and like continue to string into the claw. The claw just wouldn't hit. It was too far away. I don't know, biking bros. I don't know. Bottom two, bottom two character incoming. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, like always, let me know what you think. Let me know what's your favorite biking. Are you a new school uh, biking bro? Or are you OG classic? When did you get in with it with the biking lore? I'm also happy that she seems less annoying, right? She seems less annoying. So maybe all the people that hate biking will be able to forgive her for her past crimes. We can get in with the uh, the new era. I don't know. But like always, you're still watching. Congratulations to all the biking fans. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know if you're going to try her out or not. Uh, and of course, sub to the channel if you want to see more Strive action. This weekend, next week, I'm going to be putting up a ton of Strive stuff. A ton of biking stuff. So check it out. But yeah, I'll see you then. Peace.